Hey guys, it's Marcus Maloney, the Equity King here um, at a new project. We just finished wholesale and forgive me about the sun uh, out here without my glasses today. But uh, we, we did this project some time ago. Uh, as you can see, you can see the property behind me. Uh, what was unique about this was we got this lead from direct mail and the seller gave me a call and he said, yeah, I need to sell and I need to sell quick. You know, he lives in Nevada and and we're here in Phoenix and he was coming back and forth trying to work on a house. Well, what happened, uh, what make this property so unique, and I'm gonna walk through while I'm talking as well. What make this property so unique is that, um, well, not, not so much the property, but the situation, what made it so unique was um, you know, people always talk about unscrupulous wholesalers and some of the things that they do. And I was a witness to this firsthand. So we got this property under contract for a nice price. And, and when I was talking to the seller about it, put the contract in, uh, escrow was open, everything was done, you know, legitimately then on the following Saturday, we submitted all of the paperwork on Thursday and we had it blasted out to our buyers list. And then I had another group that I'm very, very familiar with. They blasted it out for me as well. And the seller gave me a call on Saturday morning and he was like, hey, you know what? I f forgot to tell you, you know, I was trying to sell this property about two years ago with another group and they never pulled the trigger, never came through, and never got the deal done. But he just recently saw that I'm trying to sell it. He evidently was either on my buyer's list or the other company's buyer's list. And he gave him a call and basically threatened him and told him that um, he was going to place a lien on the property because of the old contract. So what was funny was I told him to give me a call and send me the paperwork about the property, about the old contract, and when I got it, the date was three years ago. You know, so this wholesaler put the property under contract three years ago, never did complete the transaction, never did put in a Liz pendants or anything like that in the event that, um, you know, our seller, you know, did something unscrupulous. So, with that being said, I got the contract and got some resources and contacted one of the best real estate attorneys here in Arizona. And I give big shouts out to Adam Martinez and Rose Law Group, who did an excellent job on this. And basically he said, hey, you know what, there's no case. You know, the contract is three years old and they never did file a list pendants or anything like that to tie the property up. And not only that, they didn't close on the transaction. So it kind of left me in a position where, hey, you know what? I can make this deal work, but I definitely have to put some money into it because Rose Law Group, you know, they want to get paid. And it was going to cost me about six grand in order to get it done. So I weighed the pros and the cons. And the pros and the cons were the pros were, you know, make 30 grand on this deal. The con was put up six grand, not knowing if we would be able to get this thing done. So we put up the six grand because the attorney was very confident that we can get this done. And he was right. It took us four months to get it done. But now um, I signed the paperwork today in order for closing to transpire. So just wanted to kind of walk through the property real quick. Um, there's really not much to say. C, again, he started on the work, you know, couldn't finish it. Some older cabinets in here. Um, you know, so we had some buyers come through and they, they definitely liked it. But because of all of the litigation and everything like that, that was tying it up. We had to uh, basically wait, you know, and it was a struggle for me. You know, I'm, I'm really not a patient person, but I had to exercise patience 
in order to make sure this happened. And not only that, I had six grand on the line. The uh, the uh, seller, he was something to work with. You know, he, he worked long hours, so it, it was at times he wouldn't answer the phone. You know, then the other wholesaler was calling him, you know, threatening him. So he was scared. He didn't know what to do, you know, and he went dark on me a couple of times. But... All in all, I, I'm, I'm saying this to tell people that, you know, each deal is different and you will run into situations where um, you just don't know what the outcome is going to be, but you have to take that risk, you know, at times. So, and, and doing so, you know, now I made a great relationship with the seller he has some more properties that he's going to recommend to me um i did something that i've never done before you know we were able to put up the money to get the property to get the litigation lien uh removed so basically what the other wholesaler did was once he found out we had the contract he ran down to the county recorders and filed a memorandum with his old contract. That way he can tie up the property and try and scare the seller in order to force in the sale to him versus to us. But lo and behold, he didn't know, you know, exactly who the seller was working with. And as the equity king, I have to make sure I do everything in integrity and get these deals done you know, because people are dependent upon getting paid. So to make a long story short, we were able to get this, get this project and we just closed and everything. And as you can see, he gutted it. Everything has been gutted. So the numbers on this, basically we got it under contract for uh, 95 and we turned around and wholesaled it for um, 125 and there was still some more meat on the bone and another person ended up turning around and wholesaling it for another 10 grand so it was a good deal that's why I was willing to take the chance you know so again other wholesalers investors out there do everything above board you know, and you will build strong, lasting relationships and you'll be able to get deals done. When you try and do things underhanded, you know, you only create a negative name for yourself and people don't want to work with you. So Marcus Maloney, the Equity King, signing off. Remember, if you want some additional information on how to wholesale properties and real estate via in your city or virtually like I do, you know, go to equityrealestateblog.com. You can find me, you know, here on YouTube at Marcus Maloney. And feel free to uh, reach out to me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and everything else. So we're actually out here doing deals. We're getting deals done, even in a tight market such as Phoenix um, it's been tight for others but we've been doing pretty well and we just want to remain positive and keep that positive approach and know that no matter what the market is doing we are able to sustain and keep going so again Marcus Maloney Equity King signing off from the sunny southwest Phoenix